How to start meeting on Microsoft Teams for Mac? Meetings in Teams include audio, video, and sharing. In Teams, there are two ways to initiate real-time communication. A user can call another user directly. A user can create a meeting, ad hoc, or schedule. For calls, the media, audio, video, or desktop or application sharing travels as directly as possible. If, for example, there's no firewall between two users, media traffic travels directly from one user to another. If a firewall blocks direct traffic between the users, the traffic will be sent via a relay. To start a meeting on Microsoft Teams, click on Meetings. Now click on Meet Now. A meeting is now starting. If it is the first time on Microsoft Teams meetings, you might get a notification like this. Tap OK to allow Microsoft Teams to access the camera. You can here change the title of the meeting. On this page, you can also start the camera and the microphone for the meeting. Also, you can blur the background. To start the meeting, click Join Now. Now, allow Microsoft Teams to access the microphone. When you create a new meeting, you will get this notice. You can copy the meeting link and send it to someone you want, or invite people via email. On the call, you will have a button to start and stop the video. You can put here audio on mute. On the call, you can share the screen with this button. On the three dots menu, you can enter in full screen, turn on live captation, end the meeting, and turn off the incoming video calls. Also, the next button is raise hand. You can show the organizer of the meeting you wish to say something. The chat button will open the conversation and the participants button will show you the current persons in the meeting and you will be able to invite somebody to the call. You have started a call now. You can try to use these features to be used to it. If this was useful, please like, share and subscribe. You can also watch more videos from the right. Also, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments area below.